This short demonstration shows how Shopfloor users can get easy access to the single source of product data provided by TeamCenter Express using the web-based Shopfloor Viewer client. After we log in, our home area is displayed. This contains links to frequently accessed items. In this example, we use the quick search to locate a specific assembly. The item that represents the assembly is retrieved and a summary tab is displayed that displays key attributes and a preview graphic for the assembly. We use the add to favorites command to add a direct link to this assembly in our favorites area. We select the assembly again. We see that the item representing the assembly has a single item revision associated with it and associated with the item revision are data sets for the product structure and the lightweight model of this assembly. We select the product structure and the structure manager is opened. Here we can browse the sub-assemblies and components that make up this assembly. We use the quick search again to search for a part by its part number and review the details in the summary tab. We click on the item to display the item revision and datasets for this part and select the dataset for the JT lightweight representation of this part. The Team Center visualization window is opened. This is a dedicated interface that we use for viewing, analysis and markup of 2D documents and 3D models. In this example, we first rotate the 3D model and then select the cross section command from the extensive list of 3D visualization commands. We specify the orientation of the cutting plane, changing to the y-axis, and specify that we want to remove the material on the lower side of the plane. We then use a slider to control the position of the plane. Note that we can still rotate the 3D model while the cross-section is in effect. We trust this short demonstration has shown how your manufacturing staff can get easy access to the correct design data with excellent visualization tools that enable them to understand design intent reducing errors and rework in the manufacturing process.